Uh, my name is uh, Glenis Kinnock, speaking new to you today in Dover. And, um, Ms Kinnock, what did you think of the debate between the three parliamentary leaders last night? Of course, like um, a huge proportion of the British public, I was extremely interested. I was riveted. Uh, and at the end of it, very pleased that uh, Gordon Brown, the Prime Minister, did so well. I mean, there's lots of assessments going on, and I think the immediate assessment uh, you know, was to, know, you know, to, to, to say that Nick Clegg had, um, had, had done very well, you know, which he did, but I, I think that uh, Gordon Brown came over, as various people on the Today programme this morning and, and elsewhere have said, that Gordon came, came over as, as, as being com you know, completely in charge of having uh, all the plans in place for maintaining the, the recovery that this economy needs to see uh, on the health service, on education, all of those aspects. I mean, Gordon was, I think, to the British public, extremely reassuring uh, and was given the opportunity to, to use the debate um, as a platform for uh, re-electing a Labour government. Would you like to have seen more audience involvement? Because it seems sometimes the uh, candidates were actually sort of uh, paused, almost waiting for applause or laughter or something, and uh, of course numbers forthcoming. It, it did have a, a kind of artificial feel about it because the audience was not able to react at all. Uh, and so you, know, you did expect, as, as I think the, the, um, the, the party leaders did, they expected some kind of response, which of course they were not expected to make from that audience. So that did make it feel a bit strange, and I think it you know, could have had some um, opportunity for them to react in some way, but that's the decision they've made, and I suppose for the next two debates they'll do the same thing. Would your husband have enjoyed the chance to debate live with Mrs Thatcher or Mr Major? He did uh, press very hard when he was leader of the Labour Party um, to have a leader of party debate and uh, what I think we need to recognise is that Gordon Brown is the first Prime Minister who's been prepared um, to, to, to grasp the opportunity to, uh, to make the case for, 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 uh, for the government and um, you know, I, I think it's, that's very much to Gordon Brown's credit and something that not many people have, uh, have acknowledged actually and uh, I, I certainly think that he has, uh, he has shown that uh, he's not afraid of these debates and that he's perfectly capable of dealing with them which he did very well last night. How do you think your husband would have got on? I think Neil would have handled it too and uh, uh, you know, I, I think that any government, any political party, any political leader should be prepared in, in a media age such as ours uh, to make themselves uh, available uh, uh, to, to, to people sitting at home in their sitting rooms watching television and making an assessment of, of how they're going to vote. And I think they will, these debates will be extremely influential in terms of affecting how, how people will vote. So we've got two more to go and between that we'll all be still doing the kind of campaigning that, you know, I've been doing since the election was declared. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, Gwyn Prosser, I'm the Labour candidate for Dover and Dean. And what did you think of the uh, debate between the party leaders? Well, I think the main story was that the debate took place at all, and that's all credit to Gordon Brown for agreeing to it. Uh, there's no doubt about it that uh, Nick Clegg um, used the camera skillfully. Uh, he'd been well rehearsed, obviously. But in terms of substance, you know, you've got to come down on the side of the Prime Minister because Gordon Brown laid out the future, he laid out the importance of recovering the economy, not making deep cuts and frankly the other two candidates failed in all respects to answer those searching questions but those very important questions for the future of our country. Thank you very much.